What's up guys, welcome back for another fit guide. This one's gonna be going over the Paladin. Been doing a little bit more play with this today since I uploaded my short, but yeah, it's um I changed the fit quite a bit, just kinda look more to my liking, but I will say this is like the final one. Like I've finally gotten to like mess around with all four of the Marauders, and I would say I was expecting this one to kinda come in third uh, below the Varger for me, but I will say that I think I like this better than the Varger just because of the uh the easy kind of uh hands-off kind of tanking it can do the range and just the application the damage application and all that stuff so varger is probably you know it probably squeaked right past in the third place for me the golem is still the best the uh chronos is just i don't know i might have to revisit that with a little bit different fit but yeah this paladin fit is good to go i'm running a sanctum here so Frigates are actually a little bit easier to deal with with the uh, Paladin as well. Like the missiles for the Golem have a real difficult time with frigates. That's why we, you know, lean more into the drones taking care of that kind of stuff. But if you're already far enough away, like I usually come in at 70 and then just kind of set up shop. So if you're already, if you get on those frigates early with your with your guns, you can take them down relatively quickly. So most of the time, I'm not even having to really use drones with the paladin i do carry mediums and lights just in case i want a little bit extra or if i'm focusing down on some battleships and i just want the light drones to take out the frigates it has you have that option and then uh but like I, i'm running a sanctum here so i'm running a uh, micro jump drive if you're gonna run like a DED site then you need to run a micro warp drive so that you can go between gates and stuff like that but yeah, so far, the Paladin is really good. It's probably, um, if I do more play with it, I don't know, who knows, it might actually, you know, win me over. But it's going to be pretty hard to do. You know, the Golem is just so hands down easy and just, you know, it can tank like crazy. I think the Golem probably has the best tank. You know, as far as tanking goes, if you're going to go shield tank, obviously the best shield tank Marauder is the Golem. And I think the best armor tank Marauder would be the Paladin. And then, you know, Varger would be like second on the shield and then uh, Kronos would be like second on the armor but who knows maybe it'll grow on me maybe it'll take top spot but I'm gonna go through the fit you know kind of talk about that a little bit more in depth I went with a more like cap stable kind of variant because that's kind of how I like to run Marauders I also brought a lot of the faction stuff down just kind of normalized it for tech 2 so I'm running the uh, four Mega Pulse Laser 2s, a tractor beam, that's for pulling commander loot and everything like that. The Bastion module, obviously. And I'm actually taking two Drone Link Augmenter 2s because this puts me out to like 93 kilometers, which allows me to actually get drones on things like frigates and other things um, a little bit quicker. And we'll just go over drones real quick too. I'm carrying Hornets and Vespas, but I change these depending on what part of space I'm in. So right now, Garistas, so I try to take Hornets. They're usually what I'm throwing out. If I want extra help for the battleships, I can throw the Vespas out. But mostly it's kind of a a uh, light drone kind of situation for the most part. I'm running uh, Scorch Ls, and then we have Conflagulation Ls. Those are going to be the two. that The one the fit I was playing with earlier had like four different crystals on it, but it's like... I don't know. I just kind of narrowed it down to these two Tech 2 ammos. You can obviously change the ammo depending on what you prefer or what your needs are. But from what I've been doing, Sanctums, Havens, things like that, I've been just fine with these two. For the mid slots, I'm running um, Optical Compact Tracking Computer with an Optimal Range Script. And then a Micro Jump Drive. I, I did, was running a, uh, a prop mod, but I took it off because most of the time my strategy is just warping in at like 70 and then setting up shop and then if i have to move away for tracking purposes away from like frigates and stuff i have the micro jump drive there was real, no real need to take the capacitor hit with a prop mod if you're gonna run ded sites i think you'd want to like swap the micro jump out for a prop mod so you can go from gate to gate or if you do an l4s you want probably a prop mod to go from gate to gate but for sanctums and havens you're gonna be in the same spot the whole time so it's either i'm usually have one or the other on depending on what i'm doing but i never have them both i try not to have them both and then i'm just running two cap recharge twos just to bring us into the stable state the rigs large capacitor control circuit to help with capacitor i just like being able to run my armor repair all the time 
because it just means that I can focus more on actually getting through the site faster instead of really worrying about red light, green lighting my uh, booster. And then a large energy uh, metastasis uh, amp adjuster one. And then down here, I'm running a large armor repair two, which does just plenty of good enough. You don't need a second one. Two tracking enhancer twos. And then three Imperial Navy heat sinks. It's the only thing I left faction on here just because I want more damage. And then also a damage control two as well. Cost is not too bad, being like mostly tech two, a little bit of faction. But uh, yeah, as far as running L4s, running. Sanctums, havens, running DD sites anywhere from like you know six to ten to eight to ten, it doesn't matter, it, it's gonna do really well. Just you want to make sure you're at range, right? It's a snipe ship, so just keep that in mind. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and also if you haven't used a referral code yet, get that one million skill points. Use that uh, link in the description. And also, if you play Eve Echoes, my uh, character ID, my referral character ID is also in the description. So link up on that for rewards as well and i'm also going to be starting live streaming soon i'm not sure where whether or not it be twitch or uh probably a little bit on twitch a little bit on youtube here so if you haven't go over to twitch you find that link in the description as well follow me on there and also uh head over to tiktok i'm trying to get followers up on that platform so i can do some live streams over there so that's one of my big pushes right now and you can find you can just find me on tiktok with uh, jake lee 